Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on given mechanism by relative velocity method. In this video, we are going to draw space diagram and velocity diagram with some suitable scale. We are also going to learn how to select the direction for angular velocity of any link from the velocity diagram. Now first, I will read what is the given problem. In diagram, the angular velocity of the crank OA is 600 rpm. Determine the linear velocity of slider D and angular velocity of link BD when the crank is inclined at an angle of 75 degree to the vertical. The dimensions of various links are OA 28 mm, AB 44 mm, BC 49 mm, BD 46 mm. The center distance between the center of rotation O and C is 65 mm. The path of travel of the slider is 11 mm below the fixed point C. The slider moves along a horizontal path and OC is vertical. So this was the given question. Now we will draw the space diagram with some suitable scale. So first if we observe the dimensions of given links then here it is 28 mm that is then 65 mm that is the vertical distance is given. So we will use here the scale 1 is to 2. That means whatever the scale is given we have to multiply here with 2. If we observe the diagram the vertical distance between the fixed point is given. So fixed point is the point O and point C. So first we have to draw one line in the form of dash and dot. Because this line is passing through the center so we are going to draw this in the form of dash and dot and then we have to select the fixed point at po as a point O and then below it the dimension is given 65 mm but our scale is 1 is to 2 so 65 into 2 that is 130 mm so we have to take the scale that is 13 cm and below that we have to select the point C now again if we observe the path of travel of this slider that is the horizontal path is given and this path is 11 millimeter below the point C. So again we have to take distance 11 into 2 that is 22 millimeter and from that point we have to draw the path of this slider that in the horizontal direction. So we have to also draw this path in the form of dash and dot because this is the path of motion of the slider. So in this way if we observe here the point O, point C and this horizontal path is getting selected. Now if we observe the crank angle is given. So it is 75 degree from this vertical line. So here we have to take 75 degree angle and we have to draw here one line passing through this point O. Now OA, dimension of OA 28 mm is given but our scale is 1 is to 2. So we will take here 28 into 2 that is 56 mm. So we will take here 5.6 cm and we will mark here 1.8. Now in the same way if we observe then from point A there is the link AB but here we have only dimensions for this AB. The what is the angle of inclination that is not given. And if we observe from point C, there is the BC, is a uh, dimension of BC is also given, that is 49 mm. So if we observe as per the scale, we have to take AB is equal to 88 mm and BC is equal to 98 mm. Now B point is co common and this point C is fixed and point A, that is point A is also getting located. So in compass, now we have to take AB is equal to 88 mm, take A as a center and mark here one R. Then in the same way, we have to take BC is equal to 98 mm in the compass, take C as a center and mark here one R. So here is the point of intersection and this point of intersection is the point B. So if we join this AB and BC, we will get these two links. Now again there is the distance DB is given. So distance BD is 46 mm. So as per scale 1 is to 2 it is 46 into 2 that is 92 mm. So again in compass we have to take distance 92 mm and we have to mark here one arc. And the point of intersection on this horizontal line will be the point D. 
So here is the location of slider. So in this way, the space diagram is getting completed. Now we will move to draw the velocity diagram with some suitable scale. But before that, here the rotational speed for this crank OA is given. And from that we will first calculate what is the linear velocity for this crank. So here NOA, NAO is given. So, so how to read that? That is the rotational speed of A with respect to point O. Now here the point O is fixed which is 600 rpm. So from that we can calculate the angular velocity omega. So omega AO is equal to 2 pi n by 60 where n is 600. So if I take here 600 by 60 then I will get here 62.84 rad per second. So this is the value of omega. So from that we can calculate the velocity that is the linear velocity. So we know that velocity V is equal to R omega where R is the distance of the link that is OA. Now this OA is given in millimeter so we have to convert it into meter that is 0 0.028 meter. So this is the velocity of uh, AO which is equal to VA which is equal to omega AO into OA. That is <coughs> omega we have to take here 62.84 and this OA 0 0.028. So when we multiply this we will get the answer 1.76 meter per second. So this is the linear velocity of A with respect to O. So we know that how to show this linear velocity. So we know that this linear velocity is perpendicular, is in the perpendicular direction of the link. So in which direction that we have to show this linear velocity VA. So if we observe the motion is in the anti-clockwise direction that is shown in the diagram. So in this same direction we have to show the arrow for this velocity of A. So I will draw here one perpendicular line passing through this point A. So these two edges are perpendicular to each other. So I will align one edge to the link and from the other edge I will draw here one perpendicular line. So here so this is the VA that is the velocity of A. So in this direction we have to draw the velocity vector for this crank OA and the dimension is 1.76 meter per second. So for that we have to select some proper scale. So I will select here scale for 1 meter per second I will choose here scale 10 centimeter. Now we have to calculate for 1.76 meter per second how many centimeters we have to take. So here is the question mark or we will say unknown term x. So here we will cross multiply. So we can say that 1 into x that is x is equal to 1.76 into 10 and that is equal to 17.6 centimeters. Now we will move to draw the velocity diagram. So for that we will first select the fixed points. So here fixed point is the point O and point C. So I will select here one particular point and I will show it with small letters that is point O and C. Now here we know what is the linear velocity v that is this is the direction for the linear velocity and what is the dimension that we have to take that is 17.6 millimeter. So first I will take the line parallel to this VA and I will shift from the space diagram to the velocity diagram. And we have to take as a scale 17.6 millimeter. So here 17.6 centimeter. So initial point is O and final point is A. We have to show arrow also and this vector OA indicates the velocity of A. Now again if we observe A point is connected with this link AB. So how to show the ve velocity of this link AB? So again it is in the perpendicular direction for the link AB. So with the help of protractor we have to draw one perpendicular line. So this is the construction line. So I will align one edge with this link AB and from the other edge I will draw here one construction line. So this is in the form of dash is the perpendicular line. So we don't know exact dimension. So just I will transfer this line that is perpendicular to this link AB. I will take the line parallel to this construction line and I will transfer and which will be passing to the point A. So here I will take as it is. So now the direction.
direction for this line we don't know. So on both the directions I will draw this line. Because currently where is the exact direction that is also unknown. Now again if we observe here is the point C and to the fixed point C the point B is getting connected. So how to show the linear velocity? So again this linear velocity is in the perpendicular direction to the link. So I will draw here with the help of protractor one construction line and that will be perpendicular to the link of BC. So here is the perpendicular line. So I have to transfer the line parallel to this construction line. Now here the point C and point B both are involved. Now the exact location of point B is unknown. So I will draw this line but passing through this point C. So how to draw? So here I will take the line parallel to this construction line. And now transfer this line but passing through this point C. So here is the point of intersection. So from point A this is the line and from point C this is the line. So this point of intersection will give us the point B. Then again for this point B if we observe here is the slider. So slider D is having the horizontal motion. That is the motion of this slider is in the horizontal direction and it is with respect to these two points. Now how to show this uh, velocity or we can say velocity of this slider D with respect to B. So when we are going to show velocity of this slider D with respect to B again it is in the perpendicular direction. So with the help of protractor draw, draw one perpendicular line. So I will draw here one perpendicular line. Now the velocity is in this direction but passing through the point B. So again I will take this line parallel for uh, this perpendicular line and passing through the point B. So here draw one line. Now the direction is unknown. So on both the sides I will draw this. Now this is the velocity of D with respect to B. So initial point is B, final point is D. So I will show arrow that is direction from B to D. So exact location is not known. And what this vector indicates that is the velocity of D with respect to B. In the same way for this A to B. Initial point is A, final point is B. So here I have to show arrow in this direction. And this indicates us the velocity of B with respect to A. That is V, B, A. So here initial point and final point is important so that we can locate the exact velocity. Now in the same way for this O and B. So here C and B. So the link is CB but point C is fixed. So this line that is initial point is C, final point is B. So I have to show arrow and this vector CB indicates velocity of B with respect to C. That is I have read VBC. Now this slider is having horizontal motion. And this slider is moving with respect to this fixed points O and C. So we know that we have to transfer the motion of or reciprocating motion of slider or any piston as it is. That is in that direction only. So we have to transfer this motion in the horizontal direction only. But here these are the fixed points. So we have to draw one horizontal line passing through this fixed point. So I will draw here. So this is the point of intersection and this point of intersection is nothing but the point D. So this horizontal line will indicate us from O to D. That is the velocity of D with respect to O or simply we can say V. Now we will move for the calculation part. So first question is that what is the velocity of slider D. So if we observe this D is having reciprocating motion with respect to the fixed point O and C. So for that we have to measure this horizontal line that is the vector OD and what is its length. So if we take this vector OD 12 cm. So as per this scale 1 meter per second is equal to 10 cm. So for 12 cm here 
velocity for this slider d is 1.2 meter per second. So this is the answer of first question. Now the second question is that angular velocity of the link BD. So for this link BD, here is the link BD and in the velocity diagram this is the vector BD. So for this we will measure what is the length of this vector BD and which is equal to 15 centimeter. So as per this scale VDB because we know initial point is B and final point is D. So VDB is equal to 1.5 meter per second. So from that we can calculate the angular velocity. Now here the length of this link of BD is 0 0.046 meter. So distance is given in millimeter but we have to convert it into meter. So omega dB is equal to 1.5 divided by 0 0.046 which is equal to 32.60 rad per second. So this is about the magnitude but what about the direction? So if we observe here from the velocity diagram we can decide the direction. So for the velocity diagram the direction is in the upward direction for this link BD. So this is the line that is the perpendicular line to this link BD. So I have to also show the direction that is in the upward direction. So it is VDB that is the velocity of D with respect to B. So here we have to take center as a B and move the compass in the direction to the direction of velocity. So if I move the compass then here I will show the direction. So this is the direction. So this direction is the clockwise direction. So we have to write the answer that is the angular velocity VDB is in the clockwise about center B. So here is the answer.